going to do a quick video here by request of my Alton John CDs. I by no means have a comprehensive collection. Only have uh, CDs from his classic period, but I will show those nonetheless. And they're all the remasters. This is the first Elton John album. This has got Your Song, um, Take Me to the Pilot, and Border Song. Those are the most popular ones. Wouldn't say I'm a huge fan of this one, but it's decent enough to listen to. I'll pull it out from time to time. Tumbleweed Connection. Definitely a favorite. A favorite ones off here are definitely Come Down in Time, uh, Country Comfort, um, Where To Now, St. Peter. Love Song is great, even though it's not an Elton John original composition. Um, Love Amarina, and one of my favorite all-time Elton John songs, Burn Down the Mission. Madman Across the Water. Of course, this has Tiny Dancer and Levon on it. Um, Madman Across the Water is a great track, one of my top ten for sure. Um, and Razor Face also, so I'd say, at least on the vinyl side, one I'm really a big fan of. The rest of it, eh, I'm not crazy about, but I do love the songs that I just mentioned. Honky Chateau, definitely a favorite album. Um, Honky Cat, I Think I'm Gonna Kill Myself, Rocket Man. Slave is a great kind of mellow rocker. Um, Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's, the classic. And then Hercules. This has the bonus track Slave on it. And that's what the inside looks like. Uh, these are probably out of order too. I didn't really pay much attention to um, in what order these fall in. But this is the... Um, first Elton John live album, and this has, of course, the medley with the Beatles, Get Back on it. It's also got Bad Side of the Moon, Amarina, Take Me to the Pilot, uh, a cover of the Rolling Stones, Honky Tonk Women, um, Can I Put You On, which was from the Friends soundtrack. And then this was one of my favorite albums growing up. I used to listen to this a lot. This has got Daniel on it, Elderberry Wine, uh, Midnight Creepers, a great track. Um, Have Mercy on the Criminal, I love that song. Um, Crocodile Rock, obviously, and High Flying Bird. And this booklet replicates the booklet that was actually in the vinyl, although... Not completely, because this would have been over on this side. But then there's always, on these reissues, a little history about the making of that particular album. Probably my favorite Elton John album, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. This is a single disc. When it was, re when it was issued on CD for the first time, it was two discs. But they managed to fit it all on one disc for the remaster, so that is a bonus. The, all these um, CDs are made to look like records. And this booklet has all the lyrics and the artwork from the triple gatefold that was part of the original vinyl album. No bonus tracks on this one, obviously, because it was a double album. Then Caribou, not one of my favorites. I like The Bitches Back is fine. Pinky's okay. Um, I've seen The Saucers. I like that one a lot. Stinker, decent enough. Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. It's just been played to death. But that's not a, a bad song. And then Ticking is a pretty cool album closer. This has um, four bonus tracks. It's got Pinball Wizard, Six City, Cold Highway, and Step Into Christmas. Definitely a favorite, Captain Fantastic. And the Brown Dirt Cowboy. This has got some of the stuff that was in the books 
that were released with the vinyl album. And a pretty long write-up. And if you've not heard this album, I definitely recommend you check it out. It's one of, it's probably my second or third favorite Elton John album. Then we have Rock of the Westies after Elton fired most of his band. Um, this one's pretty decent. I enjoy the opening medley with Yell Help and Wednesday Night and Ugly. Dan Dare, I enjoy that one. Island Girl was the single off here. Grow Some Funk of Your Own, I really like. Particularly, I like the ending of that song, just kind of where the um, xylophone and the groove is going at the end. Um, also, like, I feel like a bullet in the gun of Robert Ford. Not as big a fan of the second side. I think the second side has not dated very well. I do enjoy Billy Bones and the White Bird. That's a pretty cool album closer. And then Elton's second double studio album, Blue Moves, which I think is polarizing. Some people love it. Some people feel like this is where kind of Elton lost his way and it was all downhill from here. So the lyrics... There wasn't really much in the way of artwork along with this anyway, so that's why there aren't much. Even uh, They didn't even reproduce the gatefold pictures uh, in the booklet. But And then the last one that I have is, this is the Rare Masters, so it was a double CD set. Got a booklet here. with some track information and some pictures. And then this is just a blank card here in the middle. And this is the fat box. So this collects pretty much um, the odds and ends that weren't released on CD originally. And most of these bonus tracks found their way on the remastered CD. Um, it's got some early stuff from Elton John. It's got the original Friends soundtrack on here. Some B-sides. Um, you know, just some odds and ends. It's an interesting listen. Although, I have to admit, I haven't listened to it in quite some time. Um, and that's all I have uh, by Elton John on CD. Um, I do have songs from the West Coast, uh, but I just didn't bring that one out. And everything else I've just got on vinyl. I don't even have, I've got like a couple Elton John cassettes, but that is my collection. Thanks for watching, and any other suggestions, uh, feel free to comment, and have a great day.